Yeah, I think uh, when we're looking at the expectations for this ARC, I think um, the ultimate thing is we need to win it. We need to defend the title from last year. Um, we've got a, a new group of players as well. So there's a fair amount of players who won't be joining us from the last year. So that transition from last year to this year is part of the, the process to, to kind of kick on now this new cycle. So essentially we are looking long term at uh, the Repercharge 27. But uh, in the short term, we still need to win, win the ARC. I think it's massive. Ultimately, it's, it's something which in the last couple of years, certainly since ERP days, that Hong Kong were very successful in. And ultimately, we need to, to keep that. And I think for the, the long term vision for the union, you know, we need to be winning things to attract certain players back to play for Hong Kong. And ultimately, yeah, it's uh, the, the dream is a World Cup. And I think 2027 is the next time for us. And that's, that's the aims. Yeah, I mean, it's something which certainly us as this uh, group of young coaches have an experience that uh, home, uh, home game, international game. Um, going to watch the XV game, uh, seeing some other, uh, you know, community events than a football club when it's a full capacity. It's a very exciting uh, stadium and it'll bring a big atmosphere. So we're all excited as coaches to see those boys perform and speaking to a lot of the players. Yeah, to see a, a full packed football club will certainly motivate those guys to really push on and yeah, hopefully bring the ARC trophy back. I think the mindset has been pretty positive. I think we had a nice downtime and having the league finish this year has been a big positive and getting this group of players together, there was about 35. I think what we've managed to do in the last couple of weeks is to get a fair bit of rugby, a fair bit of conditioning in. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be competitive now when we're going into Malaysia uh, next week. I mean, yeah, the, the last couple of weeks have been a real opportunity for certain guys. And I think uh, it started with that uh, XV game that we had uh, mid-April. There was certainly some Hong Kong based players who had the opportunity to, to put on what was the, the Hong Kong jersey, which was again, amazing experience for a lot of those guys and an opportunity for those to really put their hand up at the highest level of, of rugby uh, here. Ultimately, the working with the 20s and Having those guys transition is going to be really important. So there are the likes of the Murray Brechins who stood up in, in that game. There are also guys like Anselm Chan. These are players who for the long-term vision for Hong Kong certainly will be playing a part in. Uh, and again, it's bridging that gap and it's giving these guys that opportunity to play at that level. So uh, yeah, it's an exciting time for Hong Kong. I think there will be a, a slow transition, but ultimately over the next two years, uh, exposing these guys from 20s and from the league uh, who probably won't be or won't have been previously straight in that international setup, getting them opportunities to put that jersey on is the is the priority certainly for the next two years. <laughs> Training's been good. Um, again, it's been a seven eight week uh, process. There's been a little bit of downtime in there as well to keep those guys motivated and refreshed as well. But ultimately, we've managed to get the XV game in. We had an internal game as well. Once again, to really test some guys uh, to see if they could perform at that level and test some of our plays, which we're hoping to do into the Malaysia game. And uh, yeah, ultimately we're in a positive place and we're looking forward to the, the game next week against Malaysia. The Repper Charge was a fantastic experience for us as coaches and players and uh, being involved in that uh, full-time environment for that month was a great opportunity for these guys to really uh, well, gel, get together but also to, to perform at that higher level. And when we did have quality players like the Matt Worley's flying in, they certainly impressed. There were some guys here who've been performing really well, the Patrick Jenkinsons and Tommy Hills. So these guys have been a, a massive part of this, this, this system. And the plan is now going forward is to, to bring in some new faces, new bodies, and ultimately, yeah, start looking for the, the longer term. But uh, the Repper Charge was a, a nice carrot that was dangled. And I think as far as these guys wanting to play top level and uh, experience that again. I think it was a big motivating factor for a lot. <laughs>